What's going on guys, Sam Adams here, and welcome to another episode of The Drop, the weekly series where I let you guys know what games are coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Switch, the PC, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about it right here. And this week, we have the official release of Anthem. Now, you could have had a couple of different subscription services and had access to it last week, and if that is the case, then good for you. But for the rest of us plebs, we're getting access to it this week. On top of that, we also have Dirt Rally 2.0 in addition to Stein's Gate Elite. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting things off, we have Anthem coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. On a world left unfinished by the gods, a shadowy faction threatens all of humankind. The only thing that stands between these villains and the ancient technology they covet are the freelancers. Join up with up to three other players and assemble high-tech, handcrafted, uniquely powerful exosuits. Explore vast ruins, battle deadly enemies, and claim otherworldly artifacts. With every mission, you and your javelin exosuit grow in power. Fight the dangers of an ever-changing world. Rise united to defeat evil. Triumph as one. Anthem invites you to experience a cooperative action RPG set in a new and mysterious world from Bioware and Electronic Arts. And now some key features. Individual heroes unite to triumph as one. The heart of Anthem is a connected social experience. Team up with up to three other players and cooperative adventures that reward both teamwork and individual skill. Choose from an arsenal of customizable exosuits. Every time you enter the world as a freelancer, you will access your collection and select a powerful javelin exosuit, armor designed to provide its pilot with incredible offensive and defensive capabilities. Move at incredible speed, rocket across the skies, or safely roam watery depths. As you play, you will constantly have the opportunity to progress both your own abilities as a javelin pilot and the combat and traversal capabilities of your exosuits. Personalize your javelins to showcase your accomplishments. The javelin exosuits and accompanying gear, weapons, and equipment can be heavily customized and personalized. As you rank up and defeat powerful foes, you'll gather loot and complete milestones in the game, unlocking amazing personalization options that turn your javelins into testaments to your ability and your achievements. And of course, explore an ever-changing world of danger and mystery. Powered by EA's Frostbite game engine, Anthem's visually spectacular, evolving and open world features unpredictable conditions, hazards, and enemies. As a live service experience, Anthem will change and grow over time, introducing new stories, challenges, and cataclysmic events. This world is both beautiful and deadly and will strategically strategically challenge you with each new expedition you embark on with your freelancer team. Now, I would say that Anthem is one of the biggest games of 2019, and I would say without a doubt it is the biggest game of the spring release season because of the amount of hype uh, that has been in the industry building up to this release. Now, with that being said, we've had access to the game for about two or three days thanks to Origin Access and EA Premiere, or Origin Premiere and EA Access, whatever the names of these subscription services are, uh, and the overall impressions have been relatively mixed, actually. When it comes to the basic fundamental mechanics of the game, I've heard that it's all working very well. I have heard that the flying works well, the shooting feels tight. I've heard that these basic fundamentals of gameplay are there and they are solid. Now, with that being said, I've also heard reports of incredibly long load times, in fact, some over three minutes, that literally throw off the entire balance and flow of a mission. On top of that, I have also heard that matchmaking can often just throw you into one of the final missions of the game if you have not even completed anything else. So it's a weird situation because Anthem is in a good spot and a bad spot simultaneously. Now, everything that I've seen complained about on social media is stuff that can be fixed with a patch, either a day one patch or one that comes just after launch, uh, but ultimately the game is still shaping up to be one of the biggest games of the spring, and it very well could have a big following going forward. The big question is, what does the end game grind look like? Will it keep people around, or will there not be enough content to keep players satisfied? I suppose we'll just have to wait and see, but if you did want to pick up Anthem, it's coming out this week on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Next up, we have Dirt Rally 2.0 coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Dirt Rally 2.0 dares you to carve your way through a selection of iconic rally locations from across the globe in the most iconic off-road vehicles ever made, knowing that the smallest mistake could end your stage. You will need to rely on your instincts with the most immersive and truly focused off-road experience yet, including a new authentic handling model, tire choice, and surface degradation. Power your rally car through real-life off-road environments in New Zealand, Argentina, Spain, Poland, Australia, and the United States with only your co-driver and instincts to guide you. Race on eight official circuits from the FIA World Rallycross Championship complete with licensed supercars and support series. Develop your team and cars around race strategies and progress through a varied selection of events and and championships in both a single-player career campaign and a competitive online environment. 
And now some bullet points. Over 40 of the most iconic off-road cars ever built. You have real life rally locations across the world. You can feel your race. Improved handling surfaces, failability, and environments deliver the most authentic and focused off-road experience. It's the official game of the FIA World Rallycross Championship. You can develop your own team. There is enhanced tuning to suit your driving style and environmental characteristics. And of course, you can get competitive by racing the entire dirt community in daily, weekly, and monthly challenges with worldwide leaderboards and events. Now within the racing genre, there are several different sub-genres. Of course, you have your arcade racing games, which include stuff uh, like Burnout and Need for Speed. On top of that, you have simulators that are on the opposite end of the spectrum. They really take a hardcore approach, such as F1 Motorsport. But on top of that, you have something of an in-between, and that's kind of where I find dirt. For those that want a bit of the seriousness of something of a simulator, but on top of that, also want the arcade, fun, fast-paced action of a game like Burnout, uh, this one kind of hits the in-between. It really is a fun game. It is exhilarating, and I must admit that as bad as I am at Dirt Rally, I still enjoyed the time that I did spend with the game. So, if you are a fan of rally racing, or if you want to check out a racing game in general, you can check out Dirt Rally 2.0 this week when it comes out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. It's great for people that have racing simulator setups as well. And finally, we have Steins Gate Elite coming on the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. Steins Gate Elite is a fully remastered title with animated scenes from the anime, creating a brand new immersive experience. Follow a group of young tax savvy lab members who discover the means of changing the past by using email in a modified microwave. Their experiment to push the boundaries of time spirals out of control as they become entangled in a conspiracy surrounding CERN, the organization behind the Large Haldron Collider, and John Titter, who claims to be from a dystopian future. And some bullet points. Fully animated adventure. Indulge in all of the beautiful animation from 24 episodes of the Steins Gate anime. A new way to time leap. Experience the world of Steins Gate with this remastered ultimate version that features newly animated sequences for certain endings and of course branching storylines. Every choice you make has its own consequence, shifting the world line closer or farther from reaching 1% divergence, providing a multitude of animated endings. Where, where, where are the subtitles? Weeaboos! But that wraps it up for this week's episode of The Drop. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to drop me a like down below. And of course, you can always subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on the newest content, including a podcast that I host five days a week covering all the hottest news in gaming. But as for right now, I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your week and peace.